Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends Hydra Stomper Builder Figure Wave What If Goliath. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Leave a show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we are at the end of the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Hydra Stomper Build a Figure Wave with the last figure we need to look at. It is, of course, the What If. Goliath. Now the reason I left him to a last is because we don't really know much about this version of the character. Of course we know it's based on the animation in the What If series but season two has been delayed so we're yet to see what it's all about. So I'm sure we will get this Goliath making an appearance but in what form, in what sense, we will have to wait to find out. But the Marvel Legend is a lot of reuse with a few little new parts but it's basically like a blue and white looking Ant-Man, let's be honest. So we will take a look at him today here he is in the digital render on the front with the what if logo and remember the watcher is always watching uh, there's a picture from the, that's the only image we've actually seen from the show so far is that little weird image and he actually looks like a lego brick character there don't you that is very weird uh, and then on the back we get another digital render he comes with no accessories terrible uh, and we, we do get the builder figure piece for the hydra stomp out builder figure so if you want to build him you need to get him unfortunately and there is the hydra stomper fully complete go and check out my full review on the channel to build him you will need to buy six of the seven figures in this wave today we're reviewing goliath so i'm not gonna lie not massively excited about this one but i'm intrigued let's check him out here we have Goliath out of the packaging and it's another character design with a lot of white. So again, if he's uh, disappearing there, I do apologize. Uh, but I'm sure your attention is drawn to all of his accessories. Look at this, so many accessories. I don't know where to start. He doesn't come with any accessories. I know it's not good enough. He of course comes with the builder figure piece, but we don't even get an interchangeable set of hands for this guy. So that is sad times. And he's not very Goliath either. If I get the tape measure out, you can see he is standard six and a bit inches tall. So he's regular Marvel Legends scale. Now, of course, we've not seen the show. Does he grow big? Does he grow small? Does he do both like Ant-Man? We shall see, but he does look like a like uh, a blue and white Ant-Man. Let's be honest, that's what it looks like. Uh, and it is a lot of reuse from the Ant-Man and the Wasp Ant-Man. Uh, so they are basically using the same legs and arms. The difference is the torso and the helmets. Now I don't have the brand new Ant-Man from the Quantumania movie, but I'm pretty confident he hasn't got this torso or helmet. So I'm confident in saying that it's a new torso and helmet on the rest of this Ant-Man body. So arms and legs are the same. New torso, new helmet. Uh, but obviously, they're meant to be similar in character design. That is intentional. So maybe it's fair game using the reuse. I do like the big G on his uh, on his bout there as well, which is a callback to Goliath in the comics. So uh, yeah, we will take a closer look and uh, do a better comparison. But before we do that, let me just direct you for one last time to our website. I think you might like. Let me introduce you to legendsverse.com, a place all Marvel Legends collectors are going to want to know about. If you are looking for an easy way to keep track of your collection, what figures you have and create wish lists, then Legendsverse can do all of this and so much more. It's a comprehensive Marvel Legends database that once you have added your collection, gives you stats like how many figures you own, how many waves and builder figures you have completed, and how much your collection is worth right now. Organize your collection in teams, upload photos of each figure, look at price guides and share your collection with friends by showcasing your own profile. Go and sign up and see for yourself legendsverse.com. Find the website link and all of the socials in the video description below. If you collect Marvel Legends, then it's worth checking out. Now back to Goliath here. I do like this helmet with the translucent blue plastic visor. You can actually see some eyes sculpted behind there, which gives it a nice sense of depth here. And it's a new helmet as well, like a newly tooled sculpted helmet. You can see that piping from the ear socket all the way down to like this sort of snorkel-like visor. Uh, you've got a little bit of yellow and a lighter blue, some nice texturing throughout it. And I do like the royal blue. It is a nice contrast to the gunmetal gray. So yeah, I would have liked an unmasked head considering we can see who's under there. If they had gave us an unmasked build 
or foster head sculpt, that would have instantly made this figure more desirable. So I'll see what we can do about that a little bit later on. But it is a brand new head sculpt, not just a repainted uh, Ant-Man head. So again, nice textures. And that goes for the same for this MCU body. Now, of course, bit of reuse, a bit of new. What is new is this whole torso piece. This isn't from any previous Ant-Man. They have sort of tweaked the design a little bit. You can see all of these discs here with a lighter blue, which I assume are his pin particles or his Goliath particles, Foster particles, whatever he calls them. Uh, so you get a little bit of lighter blue on either side with like the harness, which is the chrome, good metal gray, and then some nice textures on the blue as well. Decent ab crunch, forward and back, lean it back, it reveals like some more of the silver, so it doesn't break up any of the design. But even the blue and the white do have some nice sort of basketball style texturing on. That continues on the arms. We do frustratingly get the pins though on the arms. Now, I don't hate pins, but I do hate when it does this, where you get the multicolored. It's white because they're white on the inside, but that means the blue, it should be blue and it just sticks out. So yeah, that's quite frustrating. That is why we want pinless arms so it doesn't sort of break up the actual character design and we can get it more accurate. Uh, he's got the blue. The blue has got like a nice little shimmer to it as well, by the way. It's like, it's not quite metallic, but it has got a nice little shimmer, like a glossy blue. Now the arms do have good range though. They go past 90, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and they do go pretty far, but he has got a thick forearm. Uh, so yeah, that's decent enough and then decent on the crunch as well. Uh, look at the belt with the big G. Uh, of course, the stands for Goliath, a little callback to what you see in the comics. So that is a nice touch. That's a separate rubbery piece. That's sort of very tightly on the body, but you can still get the swivel behind that if I sort of move around. There you go, there's the swivel. And then the legs are the same uh, from that Ant-Man. So you've got some nice texture uh, on either side of the inside and on the outside. Black, big knee pads. Double jointed knees, which are decent enough, like he will kick his own ass. Ankle pivot rocker, white boots, little bit of blue on there, little bit of black, but all in all, pretty decent. So again, the arms and the legs are exactly the same as this Ant-Man. So there you go. So they've just painted it. Uh, obviously, because the paint is drastically different, it is different enough in design where you don't sort of scoff at it. If it makes sense for the character design, I'm not mad at the reuse here. But yeah, same legs, same arms. The difference is torso and helmet. So I'm not even going to bother switching the helmets. So I promise you, can you see? They are different. Forgive me, but I did want to try something. So here we have the Blue Marvel head sculpt on this Goliath body, which I think sort of works. Now, this wasn't the most accurate version of Adam in itself because it didn't have the grey sort of uh, sideburns. So it could sort of maybe work as a Bill Foster. Now remember, this is based off the What If animation and a lot of those What If figures we already have are very stylized in design. So I don't think this will fit in perfectly, but it will work close enough in a collection. And as long as his visor isn't facing forward, he can hold his helmet as well. So again, it just shows you how good this figure could have been if they'd give us just that one additional interchangeable head accessory. But let me know in the comments below what other Marvel Legend head sculpts you think would have been good to try on this Goliath. Helmet back on, and then here we have our Ant-Man comparison. Now, I don't have the Quantumania Ant-Man, as I said, but this is the version from the 10th anniversary line. It also was released in an Ant-Man wave way back in the day. So a couple of opportunities to get that. And then this is your Ant-Man and the Wasp version. So of course, similar in design, but I'm sure that is intentional. Yes, Goliath is an MCU figure, but it is based off the What If animation style, just like Captain Carter and Star-Lord T'Challa here. Now, the advantage that those two figures have is those sculpts were uniquely made to best represent those characters from the animated show. So they're a lot more stylized in design compared to what is essentially a live action figure with this Goliath. It is reusing the live action Ant-Man body, so it's a lot more textured in comparison comparison to some of the other what if figures. Now, of course it still works in a display, but it has got more texture on it compared to the streamlined look of these two. Here we have some What If Cosmic Sisters with Nebula and Warrior Gamora. Let's go back to live action as here we have Nick Fury and Talos from Secret Invasion who are both in this very same Hold Your Stomp Out Build A Figure Wave. Go and check out my full reviews on the channel. And just to prove my point, even though this is a What If figure, it sort of blurs the line as it fits in with the What If, but also with the live action. And if we're going to bring in some comic figures, it may as well be the Who Crew. So here we have Frogman, Tigra, 
and Joe Casta, who is reading out comments from the previous Marvel Legend review. Make sure you leave a comment on this video and she may pick you for the next one. Who have you picked today? Tac Tac Toys with Films says, Talo's daughter Gia would be great in Marvel Legends form with some of her powers as accessories, spare arms, energy effects, etc. And then last, but absolutely never least, here we have Captain Britain and Hal Fire Hank. Stop it. Final thoughts on this Marvel Legends Disney Plus What If Season 2 Hydra Stomper Build a Figure Wave. Goliath. Now, it isn't Hasbro's fault that the show has been delayed yet again, so we actually have no concept about this character yet. Maybe it will turn out to be the best episode of television ever, and we're all going to be very happy we have this figure. But until then, there is no attachment to this figure. It just exists. It's just there. It's just a case of completing the Builder figure, and even the Builder figure itself wasn't that desirable. At least for me, I'm not the biggest what-if guy. I like to sort of stay in the live-action world. And because this figure has no accessories, either, no interchangeable parts, there's not a lot of playability or options for the display, which again makes it very lacklustre. I do like the costume design of the blue and sort of white and silver version of an Ant-Man costume, but that's not enough for me to just go and get the figure for the sake of it. I need a little bit of attachment there. It needs to make sense in my collection. In the world that I'm building right now, I have no idea what this is all about. So again, I'm going to have to be patient, but even the figure itself isn't that exciting, if I'm being honest. So uh, you let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. And as this is the last figure in the wave, a massive shout out to Legendsverse for sponsoring this Disney Plus wave. It helps out the channel. And let's be honest, people, it was a collaboration that made a lot of sense. It is a website dedicated to organizing your Marvel Legends collection. And I assume everyone watching these videos collects Marvel Legends. So uh, it's worth checking out. Links in the description. And if you like Marvel Legends reviews, then uh, I tell you what, you're in the right place. Check out the videos tab, find the playlist, but most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button. Become a channel member. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can go check out those other tiers as well for different perks and packages and follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter or X, whatever it's called, at Dan Who Reviews. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.